Joining us here at ASH 2013 from the MD Anderson Cancer Center is Guillermo Garcia Monero. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you. All right, doctor, in the area of MDS, let's talk about the research you're presenting here. So we actually have multiple posters and uh, communications at the meeting. Um, you know, we're heavily involved in both uh, basic translational and clinical trial development, uh, specifically for patients with um, MDS. One of the presentations that I'm going to be presented, presenting tomorrow in the oral session is the uh, initial results of a phase two trial of a compound known as Array 614. So this is a molecule that we have been working for over two or close to three years now. I think it's a very interesting concept. This drug uh, targets molecule called P38 MAP kinase. And we and others have generated data that this pathway that is actually upstream of NF-kappa-B uh, relating inflammation to the uh, genesis of this type of leukemia may be important. And therefore blocking it may have activity in patients with MDS. So we presented some of this data last year in another oral presentation, and we found actually very nice safety profile and activity profile, particularly in patients that had failed hypomethylating agent. So the study that we decided to conduct after that was with another formulation of this compound in patients with lower risk MDS that in general have failed prior uh, therapy, and particularly these epigenetic regulators. And I think that we're seeing a signal of safety and activity that will hopefully you know, allow us to keep pushing forward this type of approach in lower risk MDS. What are the key discoveries you present this year? So the key discoveries that, uh, that we have presented quite a bit of, of, of data. So we have uh, provided more data, for instance, with uh, extended studies of oral esacitidine that uh, is being now tested in a phase three trial of, uh, of this compound in MDS. Uh, we've shown also, and this will be an oral presentation by our group just before the one from Array, looking at the outcome of patients with lower risk MDS that had failed hypomethylating um, agent. This is very important because there is no second line drug approved for this group of patients. And therefore, if we can identify what is the natural history, survival and so forth, we will be in a better way to design clinical trials for, um, for this disease. We have a poster, uh, I think it's today or tomorrow, with very exciting data showing expression patterns of immune checkpoints in MDS, like PD-1, PDL one This is very important because we already have uh, one of the PD-1 inhibitors, the one from Merck, uh, ready to accrue patients at MD Anders. And I think this is going to be revolutionary. So we're going to have access to several of these uh, compounds um, that you know, people are using solid tumors with a lot of success, immunodysplastic syndrome and AML, particularly in the cost context of hypomethylating failure uh, MDS AML. Uh, so I th we have additional data with uh, a second generation HTAC inhibitor uh, called MGCD0103. Uh, we have other basic uh, uh, data, for instance, looking at levels of ECH2 mutations on gene known as uh, POT1. But I think if I was select from our group, uh, what I think is most relevant in MDS is this that I talk in terms of oral ASA, low risk MDS and this data with Array uh, 614. We have also what I think is an interesting and important uh, presentation in AML that uh, reflects the use of Borinostat with chemotherapy in patients with FLT3 mutated AML. And we have really nice data, particularly in frontline uh, phase of this study. And this is now being tested also in a phase three trial by SWOC, where we're looking at what is the effect of Borinostat compared to other forms of induction therapy in AML. Overall, what's your take on, on the data being presented at this conference? Well, this is our annual uh, hallmark, so this is the most important thing we do. It's tiring, but there's a lot of excitement, and every year is better. So we come here, get all the data, and we plan our you know, uh, research for the next year. So there's a lot of very interesting uh, data being presented at the meeting. So in a few minutes, there will be a full session on mouse systems of MDS. This is incredible. Tomorrow there will be data on splice alterations, new molecular alterations, and then a full session on, on, on clinical trials in this disease. So I think um, you know, we're going to see ends, no, and we're going to see the fruit of all this uh, energy in the next few years with new drugs for our patients. So this is very exciting. Very good. Keep up the good work, sir. Thank you. Thank Tom. you. Okay.